You've probably heard of lawsuits that allege discrimination based on age or race or whether someone is a man or a woman, but some lawsuits allege discrimination based on sexual orientation. They're becoming more common and creating a new debate. They had a problem with the fact that I was a lesbian. Um, I would comments made about me being too butch to be in front of the members. Penelope Hudson says Park Community Federal Credit Union passed her up for promotions, allowed her to be sexually harassed, and eventually fired her. So she sued, claiming discrimination under the state and federal civil rights acts. Park Community Credit Union has asked a federal judge to dismiss the case, denying any discrimination and arguing those laws do not include sexual orientation as a protected class. The language in both laws refers to gender. Hudson's attorney, Shannon Favre, believes that includes sexual orientation. Well, as of right now, it is not specifically listed, but gender is listed. And there is case law in Kentucky that says that gender stereotyping is covered, and I believe that's what these would fall under. Favre has been on similar ground before, representing a gay couple who won the right to marry in a case before the U.S. Supreme Court. They should pay attention. U of L law professor Sam Markison says higher courts have been split on workplace discrimination based on sexual orientation. He says these new types of discrimination cases could be headed for the highest court in the land. And in that sense, it is going to be very much like the marriage cases in that the Supreme Court is going to have to wrestle with it and then the country is going to have to respond to how the Supreme Court deals with the issue. Markison says lawsuits like Hudson's are rare, but becoming increasingly more common. A survey of civil lawsuits in the Western District of Kentucky found 34 discrimination lawsuits filed through June of this year based on race, age, and other classes. Other than Hudson's, only one other alleges discrimination based on sexual orientation. Park Community Credit Union issued a statement to WLKY saying they believe Hudson's allegations are, quote, completely false. It read, in part, we take great pride in the diversity of our workforce and embrace each employee as part of our family. Hudson, who is asking for unspecified damages, stands by her claims. When I first came and saw Shannon, she said, well, what do you want? And I said, for them to know it's not okay. It's not okay to treat me this way. It's not okay to treat any LGBT person this way. Both parties are awaiting a judge's ruling on whether the lawsuit can move forward. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.